Well, we have another disastrous example of the repercussions of these horrifying anti-abortion laws, many of which were triggered into existence uh, by the Supreme Court overturning Roe v. Wade. We go to Texas. In Texas, a YouTuber was forced to carry her dead fetus for two weeks after a miscarriage due to the anti-abortion law. The same surgical procedure used to treat a miscarriage is also used for terminating pregnancies. The new Texas anti-abortion laws have doctors nervous to perform procedures for miscarriages, forcing this woman to carry her dead fetus in her womb for two weeks. Another example, we've now seen women going without emergency care. We've seen women going without cancer care. And now women forced to have their dead fetus in the womb for weeks due to these anti-abortion laws. And we're supposed to believe this is all pro-life beauty YouTuber forced to carry dead fetus for two weeks after miscarriage due to abortion ban. I get so angry that I was treated this way because of laws that were passed by men who have never been pregnant and never will be says Marlena Stell, founder of Makeup Geek Cosmetics. Marlena Stell recently spoke to CNN about her gut wrenching miscarriage and how she was forced to carry her dead fetus for two weeks when a doctor refused to provide medical intervention due to the Texas anti abortion law. Stell is a beauty YouTuber and founder of the cosmetics company Makeup Geek. She initially explained in a video last year she and her husband were thrilled to learn of the pregnancy, noting that an ultrasound at seven weeks was normal. However, another ultrasound two weeks later revealed Stell suffered a pregnancy loss. The doctor says there's no heartbeat. There's no viable pregnancy. Following the news, she asked for a DNC, which is a surgery to remove the fetus, also used to abort a living fetus. This was not a living fetus in order to avoid infection or long term health issues. The doctor said because of the new law that's passed here, you have to schedule another ultrasound to verify that this pregnancy is not valid before we can give you any sort of medical intervention. Dr. Lillian Shapiro, an Atlanta based OBGYN, said to CNN, carrying a dead fetus can quickly become dangerous for the mother. Right. But they're pro life guys. They're all pro life. So consider this situation. Imagine how horrendous this is. It's not just psychologically disastrous walking around with parts of a dead fetus inside you that You're not allowed to have treated the psychological impact, but it's also physically extremely dangerous. And these women are being is it too much to say they're being tortured by Republican law? Doesn't seem like too much to say to me. She wanted to carry this pregnancy to term and deliver it. She didn't. You know, the right loves to have this almost at this point cliche borderline satirical view of how women decide to get an abortion. Well, it's month seven, it's month eight, it's month nine. I don't know. I guess I don't want it. Give me an abortion, please. That that's an absurd fantasy. But this is not even someone who didn't want the pregnancy. This is someone who did. She wanted to carry the pregnancy to term and deliver. She miscarried and she was denied treatment because the treatment is the quote same as that for surgical abortions. This situation, uh, ectopic pregnancy, we're also seeing it's like the entire political party never even took basic biology in high school. So we have, you know, I I, at this point, we're two weeks in, guys, since I told you doctors are sounding the alarm and saying they may be denying treatment to women for fear of being prosecuted, for fear of not only law enforcement, but politicians coming after them. And when I did that first story, I got emails from people saying, David, you're dealing in hypotheticals. David, none of these things are happening. The hypothetical about a 12 year old pregnant girl, it's merely hypothetical. And then we got a 10 year old pregnant girl who had to leave Ohio and go to Indiana to get an abortion. Oh, well, now the issue is different. It's a fake story. Oh, no. But the alleged rapist is an undocumented alien. So now it's a real story. But that's the only important part. Pathetic. And here, same thing. Oh, no. Just because a group of doctors warned that this might happen doesn't mean it's happening. Well, now it is. Now it is. Here is a specific woman who was told, yes, the fetus has died, but 
because of the law, the anti-abortion law, you've got to walk around for two weeks this way before we can do anything. And there's going to be more of it. And the next layer in this is this is getting so absurd that even the Republicans can't defend it. So the new thing they're doing is they're playing semantic games and the, the semantic games that they're playing is they're saying, well, this procedure done when there has already been a miscarriage is not technically an abortion. And they're trying to hide behind that as if this isn't the natural effect of the law that they pass, which, of course, it is horrifying, pathetic and extremely damaging to the women physically and psychologically and to their families. It's not just about the women. Um, what will we have for you tomorrow? I don't even want to know, quite frankly, I'm sure it'll be horrible. When I'm looking for a good documentary, I'll sometimes scroll around on your average streaming services and they're OK, but I almost always end up on an app called Curiosity Stream. Our sponsor, Curiosity Stream, is the king of documentaries. They have only documentaries. I recently watched Insect Apocalypse. It is horrifying what's going on with the bees, extremely disturbing. But the documentary Insect Apocalypse is fascinating and I can't recommend it more highly. There's a Curiosity Stream app for all of your devices. Curiosity Stream is always adding new titles. They have a ton of awesome original content. They have the big award winning documentaries by the filmmakers we all know. They also have smaller independent documentaries that are often just as good on every topic under the sun. And the best part, about Curiosity Stream is how affordable it is. You can get full access for $14.99 a year, not a month, a year. That's a buck twenty-five a month. When you go to curiositystream.com slash Pacman and use the code Pacman, the link is in the description.